Hi, it's Dan from EUJuicers.com and in this video I'm going to show you a brand new product. This is something we've been waiting for for a long time. I'm excited to get a first look at it myself and to let you guys see it too. This is the all-new Sauna Horeca EUJ909 Commercial Vertical Juicer. Now commercial, this is aimed, when you hear the word oh, Horeca, let me tell you, if you're not from Europe, you might not know what that term means. It stands for hotel, restaurant, and catering. In other words, this is designed for those users who use, produce juice in a high volume. And we're talking things like fitness centers, juice bars, restaurants, cafes, things like that. And traditionally, those types of establishments have used a centrifugal juicer. And I'm sure if you've looked on our site, you've seen lots of comparisons. And we've actually made a comparison that will be linked to this video where I compare the output and the types of juice from our new Horeca with a traditional commercial centrifugal juicer. And spoiler alert, just to let you know if you want to, don't want to watch that whole video, this makes real nice juice. There's a huge difference in the clarity and the, the richness of the juice. So I really suggest you go watch that. But, uh, there's so much to talk about on this. I want to show you all the features and talk about some of the benefits. First of all, why would a commercial user be interested in switching from a centrifugal to a vertical? We're kind of following the same thinking that happened a few years back in home juicing. It used to be mostly centrifugal and there's been a shift because there's so many benefits to slow juicing. Uh, the benefits of the taste, the consistency of the juice, less pulp, easier cleanup. There's so much. First of all, I want to show you this wide mouth top. And you'll see when I juice a little later, this is designed to fit big pieces of produce, uh, even whole apples you can put in, as long as they're not gigantic apples. And this top unit actually has two slots. It has this part for big chunks and big whole fruit, and it has a little tube in the back, and this is where you could put carrots and things like that with a pusher, like you'd use with a smaller vertical juicer. And there's also a juice flap here, it's something you'd see on a lot of home vertical juicers as well. The huge benefit to that is you can mix recipes. So for example, if you wanted to make um, apple carrot ginger, throw all the ingredients here, keep the juice tap closed. You can fit about half a liter of juice in here. It'll mix it itself and when you're ready just pour it from tap, which is pretty cool. Um, some other things, let me pull this out and start showing you some of the other cool features. Something you'll see later when I'm juicing is the quietness. I don't know if you've been in a juice bar, you hear those big centrifugal juicers going, they are so loud, this is so much quieter because it's operating at a slower speed, 60 RPM approximately. So it's super easy to disassemble. Another nice thing is it's really easy to clean. You can actually just run water through it, keep the juice tap closed and that will clean most of it out. So I want to show you some of the parts, but another thing I really want to show you is the system developed here um, to separate the pulp from the juice. Typically vertical juicers, the way the gearing works, uh, the pulp kind of gets mixed in with the juice, so maybe you need to strain it or you'd get a pulpier juice. This is actually separated it here. I can turn that here. This gear is separate from the center and from the juice. There's a hole down here where the pulp goes out and the juice is in this outer area. Most of that is kind of hidden down here in the bottom of the unit. The motor, that's one thing I want to mention. Typically a vertical juicer, you're running what, 20, 25 minutes and then the motor, you need to shut it down or they'll have a safety mechanism to keep it from overheating, shut it down itself. This also goes 20 to 25 hours, not minutes. So basically you can run this thing practically nonstop and one other thing I wanted to show you is the juicing screen here. Like some verticals you'll see today, it comes with a self-cleaning system. So like I mentioned, you can run water through here, but these rubber blades here, while it's operating, are constantly scrubbing the juicing screen. And this is a fine juicing screen. I mean, fine as in fine particles, of course, fine quality as well. There's also some optional other screens you can get. I want to show these to you real quick. Um, there's three of them and this is the first one. This is just a coarse juicing screen. If you've ever used a 
horizontal or some verticals, you might see this. This is to let a little bit more of the pulp come through, a little less pressure, used more for soft things. There's also a smoothie screen. It has smaller holes, and it has this little plug down at the bottom. And what it does, it allows you to mix your ingredients in here. So you, you're not juicing it, you're just mixing them together, processing them. And finally, there's an optional, it's not even a screen, it's just a container that fits in there. This is made, used for making things like ice creams. Uh, everything will come right out through here. So you could put frozen fruits, frozen bananas, things like that, and make all sorts of cool treats. So that's a, a quick look at here. I want to show you how fast and easy it is to put together, too. There's a little red dot on the top, and that's how you line up everything. And the auger just goes in, and it all just lines up. There's also a red dot on the top of the head unit here. And it just snaps on. Now one really neat thing, I think, is what you get is this unit, but you also get included with the Horeca juicers is a second juicing unit. It's practically like getting two juicers in one. You get one motor, but what it means is I could be juicing citrus here, for example. Let's say I have two really popular recipes and someone just wants orange juice. I could be juicing orange juice here, and in this one I could be juicing some popular recipe, apple carrot or something. And if I have a customer comes in and they want the apple carrot, just pop this guy off, no cleaning required, pop this one back on, and continue. And again, like I said, you can run this thing continuously, so there's no problem with overheating. It's got a super powerful motor. So those are just some of the features. I might mention a few things, but I want to start juicing. I want to do a few different recipes um, and maybe even some cold smoothies. We'll see. So stick around. I'm going to gather some ingredients and start juicing. So I've got a few things here ready to juice. I want to start with oranges because that's probably the most common thing. Juiced in a juice bar. First thing you'll notice when I turn on the machine is how quiet it is, compared to a centrifugal, which sounds like a jet taking off. Notice how I feed these through. It's cutting it, it's doing everything. There's no pushing involved. It's just, I can see it right here. It's in there, grabbing it, squeezing it. I've got the juice cap closed. I'll open it up at the end, just letting everything mix together. So I'm juicing five oranges here. I already had to let some out because the capacity here is about half a liter, 500 milliliters. And it's so fast, each orange just takes a couple of seconds. And I want you to, know, to notice here when I pour it into the glass, the, just the look of it. And also, I've got about 830 milliliters, something like that, coming out of five oranges. So I want you to take a look at this. And just looking at that, if you compare this, and like I said, you can link to our other video where we did compare it with the centrifugal. Very little pulp, almost pulp free, I would say. I don't see anything. And that's orange. Next, I want to try apples.
These apples are a nice size for this. Should fit in no problem. Could even use slightly bigger ones. Nice thing about this, there, I've seen some vertical units where it looks like there's a big opening, but you still have to press the apples and press the fruit into a blade inside. It's like you're cutting it inside instead of outside, kind of cheating. This is none of that. You're just self-feeding. Yeah, it's chopping it up inside. So it made quick work of those apples. You can see the juice coming out here. What I want to do next is try a recipe. I'm going to mix a few things. So this is a juice I like to make at home with my horizontal all the time. I want to see how it works here. The advantage here again, you can close the juice flap. Everything will mix together. And I've got just a bunch of carrots. Notice a chunk of ginger. This will add a little spice to it. And a couple of apples just to sweeten things up a bit. And remember this unit has a separate feeding area back here for the carrots. So I'm curious to see how that goes. And it's not like a typical uh, juicer where you're really pushing it in. All this is for is just to help you kind of feed it through just to make sure it gets down in there. It's pulling it in once it's there. So I just go till it looks like I've got enough. I don't need to juice all these carrots. And I think that's enough. And again, the advantage here is that this mixed it all together. And remember also, it has those rubber brushes in there that are keeping everything clean. So this is ready to serve right now. So again, basically this is a slightly sweeter, spicy carrot juice. So what I'm going to do is run some water through here. Now again, the reason we've got two heads included with this is so you can have your two most popular recipes or you separate it by different types of produce. For example, you might want to have one juice head for all your hard produce, your carrots, beets, things like that, and the other for more soft fruits, berries, leafy greens, things like that. And then if you keep those separate, you're able to kind of clean those just by running water through it. If you try to mix those, for example, maybe sometimes if I was running carrots all day with one unit and then I wanted to put some leafy greens or soft fruits, maybe 
just running the water through might not get all the carrots, but if you're going to keep doing carrots and hard things, that's no problem. What I'm going to do is switch to a mixed recipe, so I want to see how this goes. Basically, all I'll do is turn on the unit, pour the water in here, let it run for a bit, drain it, maybe do that one more time, and let's see how much that cleans it. So I'm just letting it run for a few moments. Remember those rubber blades are in there right now, kind of scrubbing the juicing screen. So this is the first round. I'm going to go ahead and let this drain. And you can see by the color, the orange color, it's got a lot of the carrot bits out of there already. I can look in there and see it's mostly clean. I see a tiny bit of carrot pulp. So I'm going to run it through one more time. And then just, we'll see how it does with the other recipe. Make sure this is closed. You don't want to have it pouring immediately. So as you can see, this came out a lot clear this time. There's very little residue left. I can still see in the screen, some of the holes have some orange bits. Not, not really bits, just like a tiny film almost of carrots. So we'll see. Like I said, normally you would use the second juicing head for your other, for your soft things and one juicing head for your hard things or for different recipes. So what I've got here, again, I'm going to make a green detox smoothie. Spinach, cucumber, celery, pineapple, uh, a half of a lime, a chunk of ginger to spice, spice it up a bit. And I'm really curious to see how this goes with just the water cleaning without scrubbing it. And I'll show you how to scrub it right after I'm done with this one. An important thing to notice, I want to turn that off for a second. When you have a big chunk like this, um, you want to feed it in that way because the shoot goes in that way. If you put it this way, it might fall and block the shoot. Or you can just cut smaller chunks and you don't even have to worry about it. But let's see, this is a pretty big piece. Let's see if it goes through. Yeah, it, it fell through into there. So this is all done. The texture should be a bit thicker here. Pour it into a nice glass. Looks a little cooler so it's ready to go. And the Horeca juicer really had no problem. There was no clogging, nothing. So just running the water through in that case worked out. Speaking of cleaning, I want to show you now how easy it is to clean. I just need to go grab a couple brushes and move over to the sink and show you that. Included with all uh, every Horeca juicer are three brushes. So I'm going to disassemble this and show you how they work. Cleanup should be pretty simple. Just remove the unit and something like this, I would just rinse off. I'll just run some water through. Most parts just need rinsing. And I don't know if I mentioned all of these parts that come into contact with the juice are BPA free. So there's no need to scrub or anything with these big pieces. Next I want to take the 
juicing screen and the auger out. These big chunks that accumulate, this is from those celery fibers. And probably I should have snapped those celery into smaller bits just to minimize the length of fiber. But it worked out okay. And again, just run this under cold running water. Just takes a few seconds. Now with the juicing screen itself, we've got these special brushes I want to show you. Just rinsing off the rubber blades. First thing I would do is reach in if there's any accumulated um, pulp or anything. Normally there wouldn't be so much, but because of the celery, that can gather things up. I just toss that. Rinse it real quick. And notice this brush. This has this unit has brushes designed to fit right over the juicing screens. So this is your first step. Just twist it a few times. This is going to get most of the stuff from the outside. I'll run it under some water. And you can see already, especially the bottom screen is almost completely clean already. And to get the rest of it, just use the included wide juicing brush here. Just like you would for any other juicing screen. I like to get the inside and the out. And then for things like this, you can get a lot of the impacted fibers, again, from the celery with your finger. And we also have one of these little brushes that can get into small spaces if need be. Also, something I could have done was run some water through this before I started cleaning. Just run a cup full of water. The trickiest part in this case is the celery fibers, which again, I would have avoided had I cut them a little smaller. But they're all out of there now. And that's it. So that's a quick look at our brand new Sana Hareka EUJ909 commercial juicer. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we did making it. There's some links, I want you to check them out if you can, to recipes, comparisons, other things about the new Horeca juicer. And if you want more information, come to our website. That's at eujuicers.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.